what is up you guys i'm asakotola and i'm back again with another video and in today's one i'm going to be showing you guys where to find study material if you are doing your matric particularly but where to find your study material on the south african basic education website now i do not know a lot of matric students so i did ask some people that i know who know matric students to ask them if they know of this particular resource that i'm about to cover and nobody knows <laughs> there's only one school that knows about this study guide study material and this school is doing really well you guys it's a school in the township and they excel um not that it matters like what location but i'm just saying that like out of everybody they are the only school that knows the fact that they do excel in their metric results shows that by utilizing as many resources as possible you know it helps them get the great results and this information is free you guys it's on the website without any further ado let us hop into the video on your search bar you just search department of basic education as i'm explaining you guys just bear with me i might explain some things that are very obvious to people who know this whole interface just bear with me the whole point of this video is to help people all people and all people includes people who do not know the interface or what the hell is going on here so just bear with me when it seems like i'm over explaining so this is the basic education homepage, and then if you scroll down you will see quick links over here quick links this is where i will be accessing most of the video today let me just start with like past exam papers so basically if you want past exam papers some schools give you past exam papers some don't so even if your school doesn't give you or if they do but they don't give you enough like the amount that you would want to use you just go over here quick links and then you click on past exam papers grade 12 and then on here you guys will see um some of the most recent exam papers and then if you click on all it will bring you over here where you guys will see as you scroll down it says previous exam papers let's click on 2020 the november paper and then when you click on it you will get to a page where it shows the different subjects so over here it says languages and then it starts with afrikaans so it says Afrikaans first additional language, paper one, and then the memo, and then paper two, and then the memo. So you guys know that um, in languages you have paper one, paper two, and paper three, right? So I guess over here they just have paper one and paper two because paper three is basically just what paper three is. You guys just, you can pause, you know? And then they have Sepedi, Setswana, Seswati, Chivenda, Shitonga english so those are the languages that they have those languages and then for non-languages i think it goes alphabetical order it does so it starts with accounting and then you'll see the memo so it has even in different languages both afrikaans and english over here it says paper one um for both afrikaans and english and then they have answer books because you know like when you're practicing exam papers you have to practice as if you're taking the actual test so I guess you guys will be given given these answer booklets where you would have to practice on it. You can practice on a normal sheet, but, you know, just to get that feel of the actual exam, you guys can use that. You see business studies, um, computer applications technology, consumer studies, dance studies, design, dramatic arts, economics, electrical technology, um, engineering, graphic and design, geography, history it math literacy mathematics they have every um subject that you guys are taking 
and let's go to i want to actually go to accounting and see what <laughs> i'm curious to see what's happening um so let's see paper one english let's click on that one okay so this is it so it says 150 marks um for two hours and then the paper so it gives you even like the mark allocation and how, how much time you guys need to spend on it so last year they wrote on fixed assets and statement of comprehensive income um it's actually funny because when you get to university we don't call it the statement of comprehensive income anymore we call it the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income um if you call it this i'm sure they might penalize you but you know it's you, you call it this for now but i'm just saying some things just change like credit losses bad debts change to credit losses it's just like these little terminologies uh financial indicators and cash flow statement oh this is important um interpretation of financial statements this one we do in financial management and corporate Ooh, wait has it always been corporate gov oh yes corporate governance like the whole segregation of duties oh yo you guys it's been so long i actually forgot that we have like this is legit what accounting sciences is <laughs> oh that's interesting okay um I forgot. I had forgotten what it is that people do, you know. Um, so this is the paper, right? I'm not going to go through all of them. I just want to see like how... Ooh, they give you guys formulas? Really? Has it always been this way? <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. Let's move on. That was the accounting paper one English and then the memo. The memo is over here. This is the memo. And then this is important information to read, like where you'll be penalized for presentation. You guys do need to like follow these rules. Like you can gain or lose very easy marks. So just like stick to what they want, right? This is how the format is. So question one there. Oh, they even show you like you get two marks over there. You get a method mark over here. So you show your workings and then you give your answer. So this, like I said, um, they will give like if you are using your answer booklet. I'm sorry, I'm recording the screen and... <laughs> it's it's breathing heavily like i said you know when you're using your answer booklet it will show you the exact format or like because you use an answer booklet you don't use like just a a page so on there you will see like the whole oh you guys don't even have to say statement of comprehensive like they literally just give it for you okay so when you're in university, you have to say what company it is and then what statement of what financial statement it is. But they give you guys already, which is nice. And then so this is theory. And then so literally how you are supposed to answer, they give you a section for the workings and then you write your final answer on this side. So this is just for accounting. Ne? And then if you guys want to download this, so you just click on here, download, and then you'll save it on your desktop or wherever you want to save it. And then if we go back you, to the answer booklet for paper one, and then this is how it looks. Oh yeah, this I remember. Oh, okay. Everything is coming back now. I remember this. <laughs> I was like, did we have answer booklets? We did um so this is how it would look so if you are going to do your past papers um they already give you the format of how it is so you wouldn't have to write sales cost of sales you know all of that in this case everything is given to you you just write down the amount and everything else that goes under other income everything else that goes under operating expenses you will put over here and then so that's just accounting let's go to maths actually I was just curious to see how accounting looks. When we go to maths over here, let's see paper one English. We click on that. You see it tells you 150 marks for three hours. 
Oh, that's not fair. They gave those other ones two hours. <laughs> but anyway, um, the instructions which you need to follow, if necessary, round off amounts to two decimal places unless stated otherwise. That's important. This is what they have. Solving for X. You guys also like another tip. If you do as many past papers as possible, you guys will notice that they ask the same questions all the time. Um, obviously, there's just going to be like the others where they want to see if you are exceptional or not or whether or not you understand things that aren't necessarily always in a test or exam. So things that just randomly come up. Um, those are like some extra unique things. If you guys check on the past papers that you guys have for mathematics especially, you guys will see that even the layout of the questions are always the same. So the first part they'll be asking solving for X. It's always like that, you guys. I remember even with us, it was always solve for X first in question one. And then they've got algebra. And then they've got numbers and sequences always in question two um so like you always know that regardless of whether or not you are comfortable in what or what you know that there's going to be solving for x you know that there's going to be pat numbers and patterns and sequences and series and whatever and then you see even in question three they have stuff like that and then you have your functions you see, this is always the same. Like, this is always, 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 always the same. So, you guys will be doing yourself a good service if you go through as many past papers as possible and understanding how and why you do certain things. Because, like I said, if you go through all past papers, you will see that all these questions are basically almost all the same. Except, obviously, the numbers will use different numbers or, like, they'll ask it differently, but it's always the same. Um, and then you guys have an information sheet, which I'm sure you already know about the compound angles and whatnot. And then if you want to download, you'll just click on this button over here and then you just download it. And instead of doing all that, you can just click on, let's see the paper one memo, Afrikaans and English. So you just click download, then it just downloads automatically. Like right now, what I did was just, I wanted to see the layout of everything, but if you guys just want papers, you can literally just be like, download, like I did over there. Let's see, paper one, English, it's this. You just press download. And then as you can tell over here, it downloads. <laughs> and then all of these are just basically saved onto your computer. And then, well, they're stored in the downloads part of your computer. And then if you want to open it, you just do that. Basically how you would if you just clicked on um, that section just like the title so yeah that is the past papers and how you download them and where you find them the benefits of going through past papers you guys is so important because it helps you not only understand exactly what they ask for but also how they ask it you know so sometimes you might know a concept or understand something but if you are not familiar with how it is tested, then it might be a bit of an adjustment when it comes into a test. The more past papers, the better, but also it comes with understanding. But the more past papers you guys do, the better, honestly. Download these, you guys. Print them out if you like having hard copy. But otherwise, if not, because printing can be expensive, just have them in your hard copy and as soft copy. And don't just like resort to your memo. This is like a tip, you guys. You need to struggle first with your paper as if you were in a test environment and try to figure out exactly how you would go about um, answering a certain question. And then only thereafter, when you're done answering your question within the time limit, then you mark yourself and you then get to see and when you mark yourself don't just do that Ooh, okay yeah i would have done that obviously no like properly understand what it is and write down the mistakes that you have made so that you do not repeat them in future and if there are any unique questions that they've asked write them down so that you are you can revise on them later on um, if you do not get to see a paper like that so that 
if it comes up again you know you you remember the next part is mind the gap study guide mind the gap is a study guide that really explains um grade 12 concepts in very basic terminology i think and like they go in depth in terms of explaining this is very useful resources that you guys can fall back on um so alongside with everything else that you have utilized this honestly you guys it will help you guys a lot so mind the gap is the main reason why i made this video actually and this is where you find it we started over here and then we went to past exam papers right and then we clicked on all and then that's where we found all of this all of these past papers now so next is the mind the gap series so where you find that is if you scroll up um related resources you will find the on the second last line it says mind the gap study guides you click on that if you guys scroll down again you will see that this says english first additional language study guides um and then subjects so the different subjects that you have and then those in afrikaans okay so again they have english and afrikaans let's start with english <laughs> um so english paper one no let's go to okay let's go to paper one actually so english paper one remember when you click on the title it takes you to this part <laughs> so the actual document and it doesn't just download if you want to download you would click on here but then if you want to not read everything just download everything you just click on the download that we saw earlier so this is how it looks mind the gap uh language and context grade 12 and then as you scroll down you guys will see over here that there's 82 pages of this if you scroll down it has table of content how to use a study guide top seven study tips oh that's nice we'll go there just now on the exam day so literally they're telling you guys how to prepare for your exams do question words and words to know so the different topics that you guys have there's comprehension section a there's comprehension section b there's summaries there's language structures top seven study tips break your learning up into manageable sections i'm not going to read everything have all your materials ready before you begin studying be positive your brain learns well with colors and pictures remember that it's in a previous video repetition is key teach what you are learning to someone else and then sleeping for at least eight hours every night and then on the exam day i'm not going to go through all of those they highlight question one comprehension and then number of marks they do that summary 10 marks so they say the paper one exam is two hours long you must answer all questions and then so it has three sections i want to show you guys how useful this is let me go to the math one but you guys will will see like as you're going through this this is like this is proper this is proper proper this is like almost like cheat codes or something i don't know um but you obviously need to read them paper two romeo and juliet nothing but the truth gain of wheat lord of the flies to kill a mockingbird poetry and short stories and then they have audio files let me see if i can click on it oh they have audio files the surf maybe <gasps> his naked skin clothed in the torrid mist that puffs and smoke around the patient hooves the okay literally they're reading this for you guys i don't know why it says one minute as if so you just download it by clicking on this and you click on download if you want it and then there it is it's downloading and then let's see short stories oh that's a poem i understand now i understand let's see the sisters the sisters is a story that was written by pauline smith pauline smith was born in otsweren in the western cape the daughter of an english doctor many of her stories were based on afrikaans farmers in the area 
so it's 12 minutes long 12 minutes 24 seconds if you want it you just click these three dots over here on the side and then you click on download and then there it goes it downloads you guys like material for days hey like if you are just lazy to read i guess then you can just listen to it like i remember a previous video that i made that people learn differently if you're an audio learner there you go you can literally be washing the dishes while you are studying let's go to mathematics right there it goes caps mind the gap mathematics study guide grade 12 and then if you scroll down there's a study table of contents study tips again how to use this guide if you guys need to read on that so then they have the different topics right so they have exponents and thirds algebra number patterns sequences and series um the one where i said that it's always paper two i mean question two or something they've got functions trig finance calculus probability analytical geometry oh trigonometry wait which trigonometry is this oh trig functions and then trigonometry and then the rules euclidean geometry statistics you guys so this one has a lot of pages look at that 328 pages that's a lot like as the sooner you start the better because this is like some good stuff you know let's see page 191 so trigonometry and trig ratios they're explaining the hypotenuse the opposite the adjacent what is a sine a cosine a tangent Mm. you guys like honestly this is like some good stuff if you guys are like really struggling with math or any of these subjects this mind the gap series is so good because it explains so much it explains you guys like you you understand what you're doing you know and then like they have so many questions and examples they show you the whole process of everything let me remove this part <laughs> The reduction formula like look at this you guys like this is they show you where they give you marks simplify without using a calculator they give you an equation and then there you go like they show you where the marks are at and this whole thing is four marks this is eight marks they they show you where they give you marks like look at that you guys it's like like more it's even like more trig identities like they really gave you but like there's more <laughs> trig equations you guys like honestly i cannot make this up this is some good stuff i want to go to like circles euclidean geometry and then the areas like everything in the syllabus they have all you need to do is just go through it and and even if you do know stuff like this just like go through it and confirm that you know and then you can move on if you understand otherwise this is some good stuff and then they're like what you should be able to do at this point so after each topic they tell you what you should be able to do you should be able to like go through okay all of this and then they give you like exam papers that deal with the topics that they covered they tell you where you need to be and like this is the step like they start i don't know if you guys saw at the beginning but this person they start at the bottom and then they keep going and then they move up as they're progressing and then now we are on euclidean geometry and then so everything on here i don't want to like i'm literally going through the whole thing even though i don't want to but like i'm just trying to show you guys how you, like this is the stuff look at that you guys 
look at that 17 marks you guys like if you're in a test and you get this you are basically you are almost there <laughs> yeah and look what the person is he's almost there let me show you where he starts out he starts out very low because it's like it represents your knowledge in the the subject oh look they even have the botmas <laughs> the botmas um botmas is very important they even give you like the terminology in case you need to understand what things mean so this is where this person started this person started over here and then you see you saw at the end he was like literally going up he was all the way up here because we were towards the end of the study guide so this is everything that is included in the study guide you guys utilize it really like i said a great school whose students perform really well they give all of this material to the students i think the government honestly is shame you know like their hearts are in the right place it's just the execution that lacks because they have really nice things you know they are trying it's just how it's not it's not getting there the marketing is just off you know it's not reaching the people that it's supposed to be reaching but i really hope you guys find all of this useful um and that you utilize it don't just let good content you know waste away on your device on your smartphone or on your computer you know utilize it the fact that it's sitting there it means nothing you have to put it inside your head i'm not done i should be finishing off and then still on here remember we, that was the previous past papers and then mine the gap was over here and then tips for preparing exams if we click on that let's see what they say Oh, these are the tips that they, they mentioned in each of the study guides. Study skills to boost your learning. You click on that. They tell you some nice things that you can use. These are everything. I saw these also in the study guide. Uh, on the day of the exam, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And then question words to help you answer. And then like, what does compare mean? You point out or show both similarities or differences. Define, you give a clear meaning, you know. It's just understanding what is required of you. And then last but not least, the exam timetable. Now, this will definitely be given to you guys later on. But it's always, I don't know if, I don't know if they've been given to you guys yet. But if you're on grade 11, 10, 9 or anywhere else familiarize yourself with where you guys will need to find this and in the beginning of your study year download this do not wait for your school to give this to you when you have an idea on how the study year is supposed to go you work accordingly because you know what's going to happen rather than just waiting for your teachers to tell you what they're doing next so right here still unrelated resources so literally everything that i covered today you either find in the related resources or the previous exam papers we are done with may june so let's go to october november exam timetable so this is it um so you guys will see that it shows week one week two all the way up to how many weeks are you writing week six there's two sessions on each day there's the nine o'clock one which is the first session or the two o'clock one which is the second session so you guys will start on the first of november so just familiarize yourself with these um study as if you have these obviously you have these coming up but just like make them a goal to finish learning before or finish your syllabus bef way before you know you get to this point and practice your past papers do as many past papers as possible you guys you'll be doing yourself a good service and you will see as i said there's a trend on how they ask questions and the types of questions that they ask some questions are always there definitely you know some questions you need to have read a bit more but everything is all part of the syllabus and yeah i wish you guys all the best and i hope this video was very useful to you guys 
and if you guys know of any other matrix or anybody else not in matric yet but obviously they will get to matric at some point let them know of this you guys show them this video and you know share the content how i'm sharing stuff with you guys share with other people as well and let's help one another out Alrighty guys, I wish you all the best in preparing for your testing and examinations and until the next video, I will check you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>